Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. Recently, Microsoft has announced some new features and changes that we can expect to see roll out uh, to uh, the Microsoft Store and in regards to the Microsoft Store shortly. And this was mentioned at Microsoft Build 2022. So I thought I'd just do a quick video uh, in case you were interested, just to highlight some of these new key changes and features that we, that we can expect according to Microsoft to be rolling out to the Microsoft Store shortly. Now, this announcement was made on the 24th of May over on Windows Blogs. Microsoft Store grows with the developer community. And the whole reason for this uh, new announcement and all these new features and changes, uh, according to Microsoft, they say new discoverability opportunities on Windows. Today, we are announcing further steps we are taking to help developers reach and retain new customers through the Microsoft Store. So that's the whole reason behind this, uh, these new changes and um, steps and features that uh, Microsoft is mentioning now uh, over on Windows Blogs. And that's to help um, their developers retain new customers through the Microsoft Store. Now, the first announcement here is regarding the Amazon App Store Preview. And as many of you know, um, is currently only available in the United States. And according to Microsoft, this will be expanded to five additional countries by the end of this year, 2022. And those countries are going to include France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and the United Kingdom. So five additional countries getting the Amazon App Store Preview, um, which is currently only available in the US. Um, and that's going to be by the end of this year. And then the first new feature uh, in regards to uh, the Windows 11 operating system integration with the uh, Microsoft Store is regarding Windows Search. And in the screenshot here, Microsoft mentions, and as we can see, uh, when an app is listed in Microsoft Store, in this case, Spotify, Windows Insiders, so it's going to be rolling out to Insiders first to test, will soon be able to open Start, type the name of an app, as we can see in this case, Spotify, view, uh, view search results from Microsoft Store, and easily install it from there without distracting um, from their workflow. So as we can see from um, the screenshot and that announcement, you can search for an app. Uh, you will be able to search for an app in Windows Search and install it straight from Windows Search without having to navigate to the actual store itself. And then the next announcement is regarding restoring your apps. And what Microsoft has to say about this is um, apparently um, it's going to make it easier for customers to transition to their new PCs quickly and seamlessly. And they soon are once again going to be rolling this out to insiders in the insider program. And it's going to help customers automatically restore their apps previously installed from the Microsoft Store to their new Windows device. And then there's a pop-up store that we can expect to see. And regarding the pop-up store, uh, the pop-up store and Microsoft Store badges allow developers to easily promote apps on any website, extending and simplifying the install experience. So that's a new pop-up store that we can expect to roll out according to Microsoft. And then the next, um, as we can see from the heading, introducing Microsoft Store ads. So that means we are expecting to see ads roll out now in the store itself, which I, which I can already see is going to spark a lot of debate and opinion as to seeing um, ads appearing in the Microsoft Store. Now, what Microsoft has to say about this, um, Microsoft Store Ads is a new product designed to help developers grow their business by getting their apps or games in front of the right customers at the right time and to inspire Microsoft Store customers with great engaging content. And they say in the coming months, developers will be able to create ad campaigns in the Microsoft Store using Microsoft Advertising. And then the final announcement is in regards to Win32 applications. And um, they say now open to all Win32 developers. And um, Microsoft mentions in this last announcement, last year we announced a waitlist program for Win32 apps in Microsoft Store and welcomed hundreds of developers. And they say now they are pleased to share that the program is now open to all Win32 developers, which means uh, in a nutshell, that we can expect to see more Win32 apps uh, uh, being made available and um, being um, available for download and that that will be able to be installed from the Microsoft Store. So um, that's just some of the highlights that Microsoft has announced regarding new features and changes coming to the Microsoft Store 
uh, in the coming months. And I will leave a link down below to this announcement in case you're interested as you can just get some more in-depth information. And, uh, and that's it. Those are some new features and changes we can expect to see roll out. And that was mentioned at uh, Bold 2022. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.